This is Modern Photo Solutions, helping you find modern solutions for life's photographic journey. Taking you from photo overwhelm to photo fabulous in just a few taps. Your story matters. It's time to start telling it. Hey everyone, welcome to Modern Photo Solutions. I'm Steph Clay and I am here today with Tabitha Caro from Smartphone Marketing School, right? That's Smartphone Marketing. Yes. Okay, yes. so <laughs> I'm like all of a sudden I draw a blank. <laughs> okay, tell me your domain name. Is it smartphonemarketing.com? Um, I see this is horrible, but I do believe you can find it smartphonemarketingschool.com, but the main URL or domain is my name, which is probably not the smartest because it's <laughs> complicated as we've already talked about. Um, TabithaCaro.com and then that's T-A-B-I-T-H-A-C-A-R-R-O.com. Okay. So that's my main word. But if you just Google smartphone marketing school, um, yeah, yeah it'll a lot up. of stuff pops up. Yeah, for sure. And then on Instagram too, smartphone marketing school. Yes. Yeah. And people are probably wondering, what? Am I on the right podcast? Smartphone marketing <laughs> school on <laughs> modern photo solutions. Yes. You have, we actually have a lot in common, actually. We actually really do. Yeah. And it's been so fun to get to know you. I actually came across you on Pinterest when I was oh. searching. Yeah. That's interesting because, yeah, I'm not that strong. I'm trying to get stronger there. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I did some searching because I wanted to learn a few things and, and your Couch Hustler course came up, which is a free course. And so then I was like, whoa, this is so exciting. This is my <laughs> – she's speaking my la love language. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny because you kind of came out of nowhere on my Instagram account and that was back when you were like using your name, yes. I believe. Uh -huh. And I was like, yeah, this lady is cool. But I really at that time didn't understand what your content was or what you were doing. And then you switched over on me and I was like, what? Who is this? <laughs> and then that's when it started to become more clear and I took your free course and that evolved to other things. Yeah. 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 So you, you're actually, let's give a little background about you. You're a school teacher and you teach immersion Spanish. Is that right? Yes. It's partial immersion Spanish, um, fourth grade math and science content. And the reason it's partial is because the program, the children start in kindergarten, they need to start in kindergarten in order to do it because it's just native English speakers for the most part. And they need to start in kindergarten to get that development. And so they, there's two different classes per grade level. It's a public school program. So we have mainstream regular classes also within each grade level, but there's always two immersion classrooms. And so I, it's me and my partner teacher and I teach math and science completely um, delivered in the Spanish language. And wow. by fourth grade in my classroom, we are communicating with each other and um, with the teacher in Spanish, just math and science for half the day. And then they'll rotate with the other class to be with my English partner and get their English and social studies in the English language. So it is partial, but they really develop in the second language, which is really cool to see where that will take them hopefully in the future because being bilingual is really helpful. For sure. I wish they offered something like that in my area for my kids and they don't at all. And it's, of course my kids are a little old now to start yeah. something like that too, but maybe someday grandkids down the road will have that opportunity. It's really, it's amazing everything that they're able to learn in programs like that. Yes, it totally is. And even if um, they don't end up using so much what they learned in the target language, because in our district, we have several different language programs, not just Spanish, but what it does cognitively, if, and not all children are meant for the program. And that's what we all work together with parents and teachers and administration. If it seems like this may not be the right fit, because it is kind of a specific skill, you know, not everybody, not every child is an athlete or musical. And it kind of is, is the same thing. But for those who, um, who do well, it just what it does for the brain and developing and the problem solving and the making meaning is 
just, I think, super helpful regardless of what happens with that second language that they've acquired. Yeah, yeah, it's really, it's amazing, totally amazing. You also have these little side businesses (laughs) because you don't have enough going on as a teacher, right? (laughs) Yes, well, I don't have children. I have side businesses, yes. (laughs) That is a really good way to put it because they definitely are like babies, aren't they? (laughs) They're totally babies, yes, and they're, they're probably what's keeping me from having children, so I may need to examine that, but I haven't yet. Um, yes, you have the, your teacher pay, teachers pay teachers. You sell stuff on teachers pay teachers, correct? Yes. That is like the equivalent of Etsy, but for teacher, any type of digital teacher activity, lesson plan, worksheet, electronic, uh, interactive file, whatever that teachers could need. We create them as teachers and we sell them to fellow teachers and schools and it's an open marketplace and really a win-win for us as teachers because it's given us more control over actual curriculum whereas always before you were given what you were going to teach by you know these head honcho people that you didn't even know who they were and also given us an outlet for um, our creativity and what we're doing in the classroom in a way to increase our income because I think it's okay to say that teachers need um, that help and deserve that ability to increase their income in the United States at least. Yeah. Yeah. It really is an amazing thing. And actually I buy stuff on there as a parent when my kids need additional, you know, multiplication facts we've done. I've bought stuff like that. And even as a parent, a room mom going in and downloading games and different things. It's, I love it as a parent too. That is so cool. Yeah. I never even thought that parents might also be on there. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And then you also have, okay, smartphone marketing school. Do you have, you have one other one though too, right? Um, okay. So the other one is kind of an extension of my curriculum design business. That's what we call it. And that is a membership that helps teachers. It kind of streamlines the process for them to learn how to design their own activities in their classroom that they could also sell as well. So I have a membership that's called Flapjack Factory and it's very, it's in its baby stages. And then smartphone marketing school is the other thing. And so do you want me to talk about that? Yes. Let's talk about that one. (laughs) Okay. Um, So that actually um, developed because as a full-time teacher and also um, doing the side biz stuff, I was very um, busy and stressed with the marketing aspect. And for the first couple of years, I kind of didn't even do anything because Teachers by Teachers has its own search engine and everything. And, but you're starting to see the need to actually, you know, promote your products outside of TPT through, you know, start a YouTube channel and, you know, product photos and social media, all of that. And it was very stressful because I was trying to do it all with a professional camera. And my husband knows photography fairly well, and he had all this stuff. So I was using it, but I really don't have a passion for photography. And it was very time consuming. So when I got my iPhone 5, I just started playing around and started substituting that for the professional camera and it was good enough, you know, for what I needed. And then by the time I upgraded to the iPhone six video wise, it was also good enough for, to do my YouTube videos and everything. And I got super excited because I was really by kind of bypassing the whole camera, uploading to a desktop, um, trying to understand software by eliminating all of that, I was able to finally save that time that I needed. And yet I was still creating really nice visuals for my business. And I started wanting to share and, you know, my fellow teachers at Teachers Pay Teachers were asking me, you know, tips and how to do this and all of that. And I realized that I loved it and I loved sharing, but where I was at with my teacher business, that wasn't the appropriate appropriate place to be sharing all of this kind of business and visual content creation with your phone type stuff. So that's why I decided to just open up an Instagram account. This was last November, 2015. And then that developed into a website. And then I do have a membership 
for those who are very serious about it. And that's kind of where I am today and how you and I connected. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you've got a couple of free courses. Uh, one is a short graphic design kind of doing it all on your phone with different apps. And then yes. the other one is a video based one. And that's what we're here to talk about today is video apps. Yes. Um, yeah, the free course it is because I am, everything I do is kind of business in nature. It's assuming that you're wanting to do this for a product, but the majority of it works for anybody who is wanting to create video with their smartphone. It is iPhone focused, but there's a lot as far as setup and, um, how to video and all of that and apps that you can use for whatever smartphone you're using. Perfect. Let's get into this then and talk about some of the apps that you like to use for video editing and how people might be able to use them in their memory keeping. Yes. Okay. So some of these apps are actually not ones that I use on a regular basis, but as I was listening to your podcast and I know that your audience are really wanting to, um, to narrate their story and all of this. So some apps I'm going to share, I myself don't use, but I think they're really great and I could be off target, but hopefully not. Um, and then some are just great and fabulous for making any photos, videos look great without having to, you know, understand a lot or have a lot of expertise with video editing. So I'll share those as well. And, um, yeah, that's <laughs> hopefully great. the, what I share, if, if anybody's interested in this, they might want to take notes. I don't know, because, um, it's going to be a lot of just, um, names and trying to remember whether they work for whatever purpose you may have for sharing your memories through video. So um, the first ones that I was thinking about that might be really helpful is if you are wanting to narrate or do voiceover as you are sharing your photos and videos, whether of a special occasion or just whatever reason. And so one that some of these are actually educational apps, which it's interesting because I think they work perfectly as well for sharing your memories and um, talking about your memories. So the first one is Shadow Puppet. This one's only available for iTunes and it only allows it will crop everything to square. But what you it's very easy it's kind of a slideshow type thing so you just plug in your photos and you can plug in videos and it guides you through the process of talking or adding text to um, each of your photos as you go along and then the end you get a really nice video so that's shadow puppet um, and you can just stop me <laughs> if I'm going on too long. You're, no, or no, no, you're fine. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to take notes as you're going through these as well. And then in the, in the, sh the notes for this show. So in the post on modernphotosolutions.com for this show, I'll have a list of all of the apps that you cover as well. Perfect. Um, Videolicious is also one that I actually am considering um, using more for my business and actually news reporters use this app a lot. It's very interesting, but it's very easy, user friendly, and it kind of sets up the whole process for you to take a video in one shot narrating and you can, you can include photos and videos that you've already taken. But what it does is it starts you off first with a selfie video. So you kind of talk to the camera, explain. So maybe you're talking about, okay, we took this trip and some highlights of this trip were da da da. And then it on the right side of the frame, you have your photos and videos that you've already prepared that you want to also talk about. So you just tap on the first photo or video that you have prepared. You talk about what happened in that photo or where you were or whatever. And then you just keep tapping through the list of photos and then it will cut, it will stop the video for you. They have music for you to add that will go with your voice narration. You don't have to understand anything about editing audio or whatever, it automatically adjusts volume for you and then you save to your camera roll. It does add their little logo at the end, but um, <laughs> I'm not going to say you could cut that off, but you could. <laughs> <laughs> 
That I mean, sounds super you, you, fun. At your own discretion. Yeah, it's very fun. And it was funny because when I was going over it yesterday, because it's always one I'd known about, I was like, I think this could work for so many reasons. And the simplicity of it is really cool. And it's a great way if you're also wanting to talk about your memories or whatever, it sets it all up for you. So that's available for iTunes and Google Play. So Android, iPhone, it works. Awesome. And then explain everything. This is also a an educational app. It is more complicated, but has a lot more bells and whistles. You can um, layer things on top of photos, you know, whether you have other images, you can move them around. This would be more advanced. So for those of you who already have a background in video editing or with apps that are video editing in nature, you might actually find this fun. It is like a six dollar price tag. I'm not sure if there's a free version. So that it's really cool. It's more advanced, but it's also great for just explaining, sharing about whatever you want to share in that video. And that's available for iTunes and Google Play. Um, okay. There's, I think if I'm looking at the right one, I think there is a free version, but there's also okay. a, like a 1599 version too. Whoa. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think the 1599 might be like a school license type deal okay. or something like okay. that. Yeah. Probably. So, um, and, and yeah, that's more for the creative, uh, well, all of your <laughs> listeners, I'm sure are creative. That's why they're doing this. So excuse me. I don't mean that. I mean, tech creative. So that, you know, you would probably enjoy that app. There's, um, Adobe Spark, not Adobe Spark post, but Adobe Spark is awesome. It is only available as an app for iTunes, but I do, there is a desktop version, which I've never messed around with. So that's something if you don't have an iPhone that you could still access and use this, but it is really great at just guiding you through. It's also kind of a slideshow presentation app. You can do photos and videos. It makes it very pretty. You can choose from different themes and it actually gives you um, different type styles. And one will say, talk about this or share a special moment or, you know, then like if you're a business owner, so there are different styles and you choose one of those and it really just guides you through the whole process. So this would be for people who are new and advanced, it doesn't matter. You're going to get a really nice, spectacular video that you can do voiceover with as well. If you wanted to, you can add text and all of that. Awesome. Um, and I have like two more in this section. <laughs> um, so then I'm so stop. excited. Like I'm, <laughs> I feel like I'm a kid in a candy shop. This is all so good. Well, and honestly, I, I, yeah, I wish I had the visual because when you see it too as well, it's so cool. But um, stop motion, this is one I just recently started using and I was like, where was, why wasn't I into this app before? If you like that kind of stop motion effect, you can um, import your video. You do have to pay to import video. The app, I believe, is free, but to import video, it might be like $2 and it's available for iTunes and Google Play, but what it does is it does that whole kind of clay animation type stop um, motion oh. animation. So it will take a normal video and make it look like you took picture frame by frame to do it. And it's if you do it that way, it's not the smoothest effect, but it's still really cool. And I think it could be a cool addition to add to create your memory videos. And the cool thing is you can, it also has a voiceover feature. So if you wanted to talk, you could, or if you just want to have this cool stop motion effect on your video, then you could just do that. I do believe you can add text as well. And that's a really fun app and it's super easy as far as if you're just going to import the video and let it do its thing. And then that's it. It's really just a couple of steps and you're done. And then the last one, of course, is iMovie. That is super easy if you just want kind of a slideshow that transitions smoothly. And if you don't have experience, you know, with iMovie beforehand, then you can make it very simple. But what I love most about iMovie is for those who, once you get more experience, you can do a lot. It's very flexible as far as speeding up your clip, slowing it down. The only downside is unless you choose one of their themes or like their movie themes and 
if you're just doing a basic type video, the text options are not very cute. <laughs> but um, it's if you just want kind of a slideshow of your photos and videos, and it only does widescreen as well. So that's also depending on the your objective or the size you want at the end that may not work for you. But it, you know, that's kind of for um, iOS users. If you got an iPad or iPhone, that's a staple app because you can do pretty much anything that you want to with that app. So those were, that was kind of my first section of like apps that you can do kind of slideshow and you can talk. And I feel like would be great as far as all the different tools you would want to, um, to show, to share your memories in an effective way. Be a video. Yes. yes. And then after that, but I'm not sure which, if you want to ask anything, I do have some apps that are no brainer apps and they just make your videos and photos look great. You're not going to have a lot of customization or voice over or anything like that. But if you're like, I don't care, I just want a cool video of our trip to the beach, then I also have some apps to talk about. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. One thing I wanted to mention on iMovie is you can add music on that one as well. You can add your stuff from iTunes and then they have stock music too. Yes. And um, Adobe Spark has music as well. And you should be able to import your own. And I believe stop motion as well. Um, so those three, I know that um, you can import your own music. So Okay, perfect. Yay, let's jump into the next section. Okay, so your no-brainer apps that are just fun and you don't have to have experience and you can get a video out quick. Um, Animoto, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but um, that one's been around for a long time. How and do you spell it, that one? It's A-N-I-M-O-T-O, -O, Animoto. Okay. And that one, it provides themes for you as well. And I haven't used it in a while because I, I'm from the business perspective. And to get like free of their branding and all of that, you have to pay. But they do have a free version, I believe. And um, I used to use it a lot in my classroom to put together videos. But it's very easy as far as just importing and uploading. And it's all of these apps I'm going to share for this section are available for iTunes and Google Play. And they have music for you. Um, they just make it look very nice and professional. And then one that's probably the easiest of all is Magisto. Once again, another weird name app. <laughs> but this and this one is spelled M-A-J-I-S-T-O. In this one, you literally import your photos and videos and you pick your theme, whatever style you want. And I think you you pick your music. I'm not sure if you can import your own, but they have selections as well. And then you tap a button, a processing button, and you have to wait. You literally have to wait. Any moto is like this too. You just kind of wait a couple of minutes and they're like, here's your beautiful video. So um, I remember I've done this for um, family members for their birthdays or whatever. I have just pulled some photos off of Facebook, just threw them into this app. In a couple minutes, I had a nice video and it seemed like I had put a lot of time into it and I hadn't. And it, it doesn't work well if you're needing, if you're wanting editing and you're wanting a lot of customization, but if you just want something that really sh showcases your memories in a slideshow type video format, then that one's really cool as well. Automatic. I love anything automatic. <laughs> yeah. That's, I figured these would be popular <laughs> yeah. um, as well. And the cool thing is when it is for your memories, you don't need this pressure to have all of this editing and customization. I mean, you just, you want it to be fun and you want to have that memory in video format. So these apps are really great for that. Yeah. Then the next one is Quick. I'm, I'm assuming you probably heard of this one. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of this yeah. one? Okay, so it is um, a GoPro app. It's actually what GoPro users will use. It, it has a desktop version as well to um, use 
all of their, you know, GoPro video and those who use drones and all of that, they use this app, but it is really, it does offer editing and customization. You can import your own music, but what is very nice about this is if you just kind of want to be simple, you can, their theme selection is very professional. And that's when I first fell in love with this app and it's spelled Q U I K. There is no C in there. So it's available for both iTunes and Google play, but it, it's just, it's very eye catching the videos and you can do, I forgot to talk about, um, the sizes, but with this, you could do square or widescreen video and you can actually if you get into it and you learn the app you can adjust you can say okay I want this video to be a minute long and it will readjust everything nice. to be a minute long or you know you can make it shorter or whatever so there it's a really cool app to have under your belt if you you're really interested in creating videos of your memories I yeah, love it. There was uh, in the Facebook group, the finishers Facebook group for people that have finished the photo fabulous class. Somebody posted about that. Toria is the person she posted about it and posted an example of a video that she made with just a few taps and it looks amazing. So many filters yes. and options and transitions and it really looks amazing. I was so impressed. Yes. And it's not, you can't do voiceover, but it's great if you want, text if you want to layer text onto your videos and photos that it's a great app for that and it comes out looking great um then i have a couple more yeah <laughs> okay um nutshell and it's spelled like it sounds nutshell <laughs> it's available for itunes and google play this is only for a quick little video and but it's just really cute and since I know that your audience is very creative and they probably like, most of them probably like cute, you select three photos and they just have these fun little animations or text, kind of animated text, um, things that you can add into each of your photos and videos as well. And it's just a three frame video. I can't remember the time on it, but if you just have a couple photos that you want to share in a really cute way, then I think you would enjoy that app. It's just a little fun app to make your video have these little animations going all over the place. Okay. So I think, I think it might could be useful um, just for something really fun and quick. And once again, it's super user friendly. Tell me the name of that one again. Nutshell. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It has like a squirrel icon. <laughs> Cute. Of course it does. <laughs> of course. That makes sense. Yeah. And um, then one more on here that I wanted to share is Ripple, R-I-P-L. There's no E. They've always got to be weird yes. about spelling. <laughs> 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 but it's av once again, it's available for iTunes and um, Google Play. And this app, they will keep their... Um, logo in the bottom right hand corner so that may be a deal breaker you would have to pay the price is ridiculous um, you can pay for like a year in advance but it's like 60 bucks for a year or you pay ten dollars a month so it's really if you're gonna pay to take off that watermark then it's usually for more business-minded people but if you're fine with the watermark it's free and they have a bunch of really cool themes and it's it's text based. So it's just adding text, but some of it is a little, some of the themes are very scrapbook feel in nature and you can in insert several photos. It's not no video. This is just for photos and the maximum time limit is 30 seconds. So this once again would be for something short and sweet that you just want some cool flashy type animated deals with your photos and text, then you might like this app. I uh, played with that one this morning, actually. And I think one of the great things that it would be, could be used for is to just do like a title sequence for the beginning of a video or the beginning of a movie. Yes, that's awesome. Because I do also, that's what I use it for, actually. <laughs> Um, titles or any type, if you, for example, if iMovie is your thing, then this is 
Well, it does. The output is square. And so I, I don't want to get too complicated. There is a way that you could crop it down. There, there's actually an app that will crop that video into widescreen for you to put into your iMovies. But whatever, if you are into video editing, apps like Ripple, apps like Nutshell, even Quick, I have used just the flashiness of it for those openers yeah. or my title inserts throughout um, my completed video. And then I will take those clips and I insert them into full video editing apps such as iMovie. And I also have a list of those. <laughs> and that's almost my last list. So I don't know <laughs> if we have time for that. But um, yes, uh, you can definitely use a lot of these for just kind of piecing the up. flash text, right, animated text that would then go into a final video editing app. Yeah, and you have a really fun term that you use for when you're combining apps for one purpose, right? Yes, and it's not my term. It is an educational term for um, combining apps to create a desired result, and it's called app smashing. So video on your phone, if you want to get um, really cool results, then that's something you have to kind of think I'm probably going to combine apps. Now, if you're like, I just know this is overwhelming me, just go with a simple app and just do that. But for those who are like, I want it, I just want to go to the next level. I want people to think that I did do this on my desktop, then you're most likely going to need to app smash to get that result. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're ready to, do you have another list or are we still in that one? Where are we? <laughs> So, yeah, I'm done with that. Um, you know, the Vimo app, I didn't know if that one was too. And Vimo is actually a full, more of a full video editing app. I didn't know if that one might be a little complicated. I know you've used it. Mm -hmm. So that's that. That's one for just adding in the cutest little animations on top of your photos and videos. And you can import multiple videos and photos into this app. And then it provides these just, it's hard to explain without opening the app and seeing it, but it just has all these cute little, you know, it could be, um, hearts and, um, now I'm drawing a blank, but all of these fun little animated and your text can also be animated within that app. It's just, it's cute. It's kind of like nutshell, but it's an advanced nutsh form of the nutshell app. Yeah. It's super fun. Yeah. To use. So my my next list um, is the full editing for those who really want customization. These are just some of my suggestions as far as, you know, if you want to be able to have a specific video size, be able to add audio, be able to add text, be able to work with transitions, trimming, you know, like all of that. Yeah. These are some of the apps that I could suggest. Okay. Okay, so iMovie we've already talked about, and that's um, only for iOS, iTunes, and it's only widescreen only. There are some workarounds with that, but that's something to keep in mind. Video Shop is available for iTunes and Google Play. It's pretty user-friendly. Um, if you're brand new to video editing, you may not feel that way, but if you have a little bit, if you're a little bit comfortable, it's pretty user friendly. And what I like about this is you can do widescreen square or vertical. Um, oh, there was one more tip that I, I wanted to mention. I don't know. It's your audience on Instagram. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, a lot of them are. Yes. Okay. So for, um, Instagram stories, is an excellent place. Obviously, if, if you're not using that yet, that may be something you want to consider using because now Instagram allows you to download your full story. So if you go on a trip and that day you do your Instagram stories of whatever happened, you'd only get a 24 hour span to put your videos and or take your videos and photos within that part of the Instagram app. So you want to make sure that you download at the end of the day, but you can actually download your whole story. And oftentimes that's good enough. I mean, you won't have music. You may want to insert it into the video shop app or an app that allows vertical video and add music. But apart from that, you could already have 
a whole memories video ready to go. And it's very, it, it really kind of helps you get, if you're at a beginner level with video, it kind of helps you learn video through that. That is real. I didn't know that you could download your whole story. Do you want to tell us how to do that? Yeah. So they, it just happened several, I don't know when it happened because initially you couldn't, which was frustrating because yes. I would be like in, individually downloading clips but when you go into your Instagram stories, you need to, when you're in your main feed of Instagram, you swipe to the right and, um, oh, excuse me. No, you tap your profile pic that will get you to your Instagram stories. And when you look down the bottom right hand corner, you should see three dots. You tap on those three dots and you'll have several suggestions. I believe save is the one that will appear right there. You tap that. And it will say, save video or save story. So save video will only save that clip that you're on. So you'll tap save, vi um, save story. And then it, you can get it to go right to your camera roll. Okay. So it pro I don't have any stories in my, let me go into my other account that I actually have stories in right now. Cause it, it wasn't giving me those options, but I'm betting you actually have to have something in your story to yeah, download, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. You can't download air. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. That's awesome. And so then you can download everything that's in your story at that time, right? Yes. Yeah, so, that's so cool. yeah, the only thing is you can only, um, if you're just using Instagram stories as your video camera, then it's no problem. But if you're like wanting to use Instagram stories to create combined clips, you can only pull from your last 24 hours. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind. The other thing is also to keep in mind that you need to download it um, before that first clip passes 24 hours, because if you don't, it will just be gone. Yeah. So that's a great, so if you're going, for example, on a hike and you're doing stories along the way, then when you're done, if you wanted to encapsulate all of that or on a trip or, you know, any kind of an outing, then you could go ahead and download that. And then you have a pre-made video that you could just do a title sequence. To. Exactly. And Facebook has just recently updated where they, I could be a, wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct that you can now upload full vertical video and it will show as vertical. So you could take that memories video from Instagram and now share on your personal Facebook page with all your friends. Very cool. Yes. So that, that was a tip I want to make sure I said, but as far as the full editing, um, video apps, Video shop, once again, that's that's one that you could take your vertical clips from wherever and combine and get full customization. Pocket Video is a newer app that it will actually, when you open it up to start your video editing, it will actually say which type of video do you want. Do you want Instagram Square? Do you want, they use Snapchat for vertical, but you could also use any vertical video. And so that it kind of, goes ahead and starts you with whatever size video you're wanting to work with. And they have some very cute animated text overlays that you can add that are very um, scrapbook-ish in nature. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I've used it some. I haven't used it a whole bunch, but I just know if you're wanting something that can do full customization with all different types of video sizes, that's a really fun app. And then the last one, that I recommend, although there's many, is InShot. <coughs> Excuse me. You're fine. InShot is it's available for iTunes and Google Play, and they just recently updated, which I was so excited about, where you can um, work with any type video size. And what is special about InShot? You can do this in Video Shop, but it's more complicated to figure out. And InShot. It will take any of your videos and photos, whatever size that they are, and you can add those blurred margins to get them all consistently, whatever size you want in the end. So let's say you have a square photo from Instagram, but then you took horizontal widescreen video, you know, with your phone and you took some vertical and you're like, oh my goodness, it's all over the place. And this app, you can choose many different um, sizes, you can choose from different sizes and then they will, you can add a blurred background and you may need to Google how to do that. Um, it's not like just you touch a button and it's done, but the fact that you can get everything consistent 
makes it look really nice. And even if you have, if you're just working with a widescreen video and you just want it to be square for Instagram, you could simply do that with this app. And then when you upload to Instagram, you have a square video and it will just have, you probably seen like in news videos and so forth, the top and the bottom will have that blurred background that matches whatever is going on in the video. That's so great. Yay. I have a lot of new things to play with. <laughs> yes. There's uh, there's like two more little apps that I, I did want to share. Okay, let's hear it. I'm sorry. Um, if you, and you may have seen on some of my Instagram posts, I really had fun with the, and I don't know how to say it. I don't know why they picked the weirdest names for apps, but Lumiere. Yeah. L- yeah. Okay. L U M Y E R available for iTunes and Google play. It will take, sometimes you can only insert photos, but sometimes you can actually take video, um, in the app. You have to do it in the app, but you can add these cool animations on top. Like you, you can add rain and it looks like actual rain. You can add sunlight. So it will make a photo. Maybe you took a a gorgeous family photo and there was sun coming in through like sun rays. Well, you could use this app to actually make it look like the sun rays are moving over your photo and it turns it into a video, but it looks like a photo that just has this magic animation on top. So that is a very, very fun app to play. It's just going to be for your short little video posts that you want to post um, to social media or whatever, but it's um, really fun and they're continually adding new animations. Yeah, that's another one that would be good for titles, title sequences and stuff like that if you want to add them. I've seen some cool, like Snow is one of my favorite ones that people yes. will add. And then also I've seen... For Disney stuff, fireworks and little twinkle stars. And somebody actually did like a lightsaber effect. Yes. So there is, it's, I'm glad you pointed that out because I'm always thinking from the business perspective and some of that stuff is too cutesy for my right. purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to really use, um, you know, a lightsaber probably. Right, but, right. Um, but what but little boy wouldn't family, even, even my little girl would love to have a, a picture of her with a glowing lightsaber. I mean, exactly, come on. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And, and that, I think that could be a really fun family time to go over those animations and just set up some staged fun photo and then add that animation on top because they do have a lot of things that are more themed and fun and cute that would go perfect with family or whatever your kids are interested. Also seasonal, like you mentioned, um, there's a lot of things that will go right along with seasons. I use this dancing gingerbread man. I think I had to pay a dollar for him. Some of them are, some of the animations are free and some are not, but he was so cute and he was just dancing all over my photo. So I think you could have a lot of family fun with that app. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Did you have a couple more? Well, um, I, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely try to stop. (laughs) (laughs) I I could go on forever, but I'm thinking about video collages since I know that scrapbooking is very collage focused, Uh then maybe you want to kind of, um, create the scrapbook feel in a collage. And one app that is really cool is pick play post. And that's one word all sandwiched together. And it allows, there's, various apps that can do this, but it allows for you to import video into a collage for whatever type framed collage. So you're probably very familiar with the millions of photo apps that can do this, but it's really cool if you have an app in your back pocket that you can use for video collages as well to share a special moment. Yeah. Super fun. Super fun. So I can stop there. You want to stop there? <laughs> I, mean, I can. I mean, you know, I got a couple more, but you know, I honestly, I know it's probably like a lot of information and it's really just, you just need to start playing around. And as I think you already talk about a lot and Becky, when I listened to that episode um, with Becky Higgins talking about, it, it is an amazing feeling to produce these, um, very nice looking visuals of your memories 
and you're in your bed (laughs) or you're on the couch and it's a commercial break. And especially as your audience, they're, they're busy with their family and they're very busy learning how to do this on your phone can really enhance your memories. And it's something that you can do. Okay. You know, your daughter's down for a nap. You can sit right there while she's sleeping and you're watching her and yet you're getting out a really cool video right on your phone. And obviously you could be working on your memories and project life as well. It's, it it really follows the same thing. So it's just a matter of exploring all of these options that I've mentioned, not to overwhelm, just start with one. And once you feel good about that, go to another one. And I think if, if this is up your alley, you'll see, wow, there's a whole world of video memory creation that is right at your disposal, right at your fingertips on your phone. Yeah. One of the benefits of having a list like this to work from though, is it's really easy when you decide that you want to start playing with, you know, video editing apps, for instance, to start spending money on apps and then being so disappointed because they don't yes. do what you wanted or they're not that great. And so having a yes. list like this to work from of, you know, apps that we know have been used and are proven and are worth, if they cost money, they're worth the money and they'll be able to do what we want them to do. Yes. That's these so are tried great. and true apps. Um, these, if always go with the free version first, because what I love even on this list just may not work with your personality. Um, I'm thinking of the Vimo app. That's that's one that kind of has a weird interface, and you may not want. I think you have to pay five dollars or something to get all the bells and whistles. So yeah, these apps they will all work amazingly, but a lot of it too just depends on where you're at with video editing, and also just if it vibes with you or not in your creativity process thinking or whatever. Yeah. I, I love it. And I'm super excited to get working through some of these that I haven't <laughs> tried yet. So thank you so much for all of the, all of the suggestions. This is super No exciting. problem. I feel like I kind of just vomited out during this <laughs> interview, but I'm telling you, I could vomit about this all day long. So. That's, and that's what I love about it. You're a very easy guest to have on the show. So <laughs> we'll have to have you back again. Totally. I, I, I would love, and hopefully, what now? I didn't have to work at all. It's great. Well, awesome. Yeah, I know. I felt like, oh, wow, I didn't even give you a chance to like get any words in. But hopefully if I ever do get to come back on, I will also be on the project life or at least the memory making wagon because I'm not there right now. I, I, you and I have talked about finding balance, but I'm super interested and I'm thankful that our paths have crossed because I still would be totally in the dark about this whole digital process that is evolving as well for making memories that I didn't know anything about, even though I'm on my phone 24 seven. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I, and I know you're going to get there. I mean, being a teacher and, uh, running three businesses, four businesses (laughs) cannot be (laughs) that easy at all. So yeah, you'll, once things slow down for you a little bit, then it'll be exciting to see what you do. I'm, I'm excited about it. But in the meantime, I've really enjoyed getting to know you. And because you love apps, like I love apps, even though we use them for different purposes right now, it's, it's been fun to follow everything that you do as well. Oh, totally. I totally agree. I've really enjoyed our friendship, yeah. um, our, our Insta friendship. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you're, if, if you've enjoyed listening to Tabitha, which I'm sure you have, you'll, you will probably want to check out her free classes that she has. And if you have an online business, which I know a lot of my listeners do, you'll want to grab her free classes for sure. And then watch for her membership to smartphone marketing school to open up as well, because it is a really good investment. I've learned so much from her about marketing and being able to do it all for my phone. It's been really, really wonderful. I can't even put a price tag on what I've learned from you. So it's (laughs) thank you. Well, thank you, Steph. And I've totally enjoyed being on your podcast and I love obviously what you're doing. I think it's just very important to focus on things that matter and creating memories. I mean, I think your, your purpose and mission is super awesome. And it's something I am really needing to hear right now in my life. So I'm super honored to even be here talking with you. So thank you so much. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I just want to remind our listeners where they can find you. And that is at Tabitha 
Caro, and I will put a link to that. <laughs> See, I almost said it wrong. I, um, I'll put a link to that on in the show notes at modernphotosolutions.com, and I'll probably name this one forward slash Tabitha so people can find it easily, and then all of the, along with the list of the apps. But also be sure to find Tabitha on Instagram at Smartphone Marketing School. Yes, definitely. I would love to connect, and if you have questions – I'm a big Instagrammer, like Steph, and you can always message me there and ask me any questions that you have. Perfect. Thank you so much, Tabitha. Thank you. And we'll see you next time on Modern Photo Solutions. 